Good afternoon, everybody. It's Josh here from Looking for Games, and welcome to this week's edition of the Weekly Update. Jumping into this week's schedule, tonight we've got our launch event for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Of course, we had a great pre-release weekend, and now we have our launch event uh, as part of our Friday Night Magic. So we'll be uh, introducing this as a sealed event. So uh, we will still have some pre-release kits uh, left over, and we're going to run a sealed event for that. Uh, as well as some other goodies and play for that starts at 7 o'clock. Saturday afternoon, you'll get your first chance to see the new core set coming for Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game with our premiere event. Not only will you get your hands on some of the new themes and mechanics, but you'll also have a chance to win some great promo cards and the latest playmat for this set. Play starts at 1.30, check-in starts at 1 o'clock, so make sure you get in to check out the new set from Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Destruction. Also on Saturday, we'll be having our Learn to Play session for Dungeons & Dragons. DM Dave from our Looking for Adventure group has uh, been holding these Learn to Play sessions and basically starting from scratch, uh, everything from uh, character creation all the way to some uh, little bit of uh, DM techniques. So uh, entry is $5. There are still spots available. You can scan the QR code. It'll take you right to our Warhorn and you can sign up to play. And it, the day has finally come. This Sunday, we will be having our Warhammer 40K tournament. Uh, we've been talking about this for a little while now, but it is all booked out. Uh, we've got a bunch of people that are going to be coming in. Play starts at 11 o'clock, so we want to check in no later than 1030 so we can get started right on time. Uh, we got some really uh, fun prize support as well as a couple of surprises. And uh, can't wait to uh, show you all about that. Our Warhammer 40K tournament starting at 11 a.m. this Sunday. Also on Sunday, we kick off our next slate of Looking for Adventure with DM Dan presenting the next chapter of Kursk Outpost. Then on Thursday, DM Joe presents his next chapter of Jamming Out of Ravnica is its finest. And then finally on Saturday, DM Dave presents the next chapter of Neverwinter Nights. If you scan the QR code on the screen, it'll take you right to Warhorn so you can see all of the available games and sign up to play. For game night on Wednesday, we'll be wrapping up our month of pirate-themed games with Stonemeyer Games, Libertalia, Winds of Galcrest. You'll gather your crew and take to the sky, exploring the lands of Galcrest each day, and you'll send out crew to gather your share of treasure, but watch out because all of the other admirals are also trying to get their share too, and also yours. So build your reputation, upgrade your crews, and as always, watch your back. So that's Libertalia for game night on Wednesday. And as we're wrapping up this month, this has been another really fun theme to work with. And uh, we're looking back, coming, uh, coming back next month with another fun theme. And uh, we'll announce that next week. Of course, uh, you've had the opportunity to uh, throw your suggestions into the comments below. And if we pick yours, then you'll have a chance to win either a Looking for Games t-shirt or a Looking for Games gift certificate. So get those comments in and we will pick a winner uh, when we announce the theme next week. And, of course, we got our weekly play on Thursday for Star Wars Unlimited. Of course, this is right now the only way to get any new product for Star Wars Unlimited. Uh, although a reprint has been announced, we probably won't be seeing that for a little while. So come in and see us for weekly play. We are the only store in the region that is actually running the draft format. So great opportunity to not only get some product in your hands, but also uh, get a, a really good game of uh, draft in. Uh, for Star Wars Unlimited. And next Saturday, we'll have our next session of Blood on the Clock Tower. Each month is a different theme, a different a different game, a different theme, and a different demon that is planned for the poor citizens of the small town of Ravenswood Bluff. Now this month, we're going to be playing a custom script called Leech of D Distrust. <laughs> are you really poisoned? Or are you just the drunk? Could you even be the marionette, or are you being manipulated by your neighbors? Only the devil's advocate can be truly certain of their character and alignment, meaning most players can't even trust themselves. And when you can't trust yourself, you're just another victim. Can you beat the odds and save the town? Find out next Saturday when we play Blood on the Clock Tower. And new at LFG, we only have one new item in stock, but it's a whole mess of a lot of stuff. I am happy and proud to announce that we will be carrying uh, from here on out the Army Painter. 
And Army Painter has come out with a brand new line called the War Paints Fanatic. And uh, this is a product with some fantastic coverage. Now, most of you probably don't know this, but I actually came uh, from the paint industry. So uh, to find a product that truly works as it is advertised uh, is really uh, refreshing. <laughs> uh, it's cool to find a, a company that um, just does paint. Uh, so that's uh, so that's another plus uh, for these guys. And uh, we're excited because this, uh, this product looks fantastic. So uh, we actually have a demo uh, tray of some of the new products. And uh, so you can actually come in and actually try them out when you come in for paint nights on Thursday. So new line, War Paints Fanatics, and that is going to be available starting tomorrow. So uh, we'll have that all set up and the full rack of paints, uh, as well as some other stuff coming in very soon, uh, all from the Army Painters. So uh, excited to have them. And in the queue, as I announced last week, they had so much play, uh, so much fun playing Battle Over Endor last month that they want to give it another go. So on the 28th, which is next Sunday, uh, our theme for our epic battles will be Battle Over Endor, and we're calling it Battle Over Endor 2, Ewok Boogaloo. The scrappy band of rebels will once again be trying to take down the force field surrounding the still-in-construction Death Star before the rebel fleet arrives. But how did those Bothans really get those shuttle landing codes? Find out when we play Battle Over Endor 2, Ewok Bo Boogaloo, coming next Sunday. And... We've got a special event in the queue coming up on May 4th. This is a Digimon tournament event, and this is being uh, hosted by a couple of our members, uh, Scott and Carrie Barnes. Uh, they've gotten in the tournament kits, and your entry of $12 will actually get you uh, not only into the event, but also one of the uh, commemorative uh, play mats for this, uh, for this particular event. So uh, come in and check that out. And like I said, we still have spots available for May the 4th. And, of course, we've got some titles coming in very soon, including Smug Owls from Runaway Parade Games, Crossbows and Catapults from Restoration Games, Heat Heavy Rain, uh, which we will have in some very limited quantities. So uh, keep an eye on that for when that comes in, uh, as well as uh, Night Cage Expansion and Adventure Party from Smirk and Dagger Games. And that's our update for this week. If you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe. Feel free to tell others about us because, as I always say, you shouldn't be the only one to suffer. Thank you for watching and have a great day.